the most widely distributed tree in all of North America, occurring from sea level to 11,000 feet. Quaking aspen, or trembling aspen, Populus tremuloides in the Salicaceae, or willow family. It's a remarkable tree in its ability to colonize, drastically disturb landscapes, especially those with very little fertility and moisture. The leaves are quite distinct. They are nearly round or suborbicular in shape. They typically have a fine margin of either rounded teeth or sharp teeth, so the teeth are either crenate or serrate. The leaves turn gold or some form of gold to yellow in the fall. And the petioles are very flat, giving the leaf the ability to shimmer in the slightest breeze, hence the common name of quaking or trembling aspen. Quaking aspen is also a root sucker. It reproduces quite often by forming root suckers away from the main tree. It does reproduce by seeds as well, but the trees are dioecious, so the female trees are the only trees that can produce seeds. The seeds only live for about three weeks in June, and they have to colonize an open area with lots of sunlight in order to survive. The bark on quaking aspen, initially very smooth, and in some areas can be almost whitish and resemble a birch, but it never exfoliates. And as that bark as that bark expands as the tree gets larger, the bark maintains that gray coloration. The trees are short-lived, about 60 to 80 years, but they're very important ecologically during that time period. It's also an important species for pulpwood. Quaking aspen or trembling aspen, Populus tremuloides.